So that's what it looked like on the ground. But let's look at the satellite images as well. Vishnu Som takes you through what they described about that chaos this morning. Well, what we can actually bring you now are exclusive images which we've just received from Maxar on the situation at Kabul International Airport and the huge crowds over there earlier on in the day. So these are images from Maxar. You can actually take a look at these crowds over here if we actually zoom into these images. If we can actually zoom in over there, this is at maximum zoom. But all of these massive crowds, uh, as you can see in this entire area, in this entire area, uh, all around the aircraft, people desperate to try and go in. We're going to move now, try and bring you another image over here. And as you can see over here, I'm just trying to see if we can zoom any further. All right. If you point at this, if you look at this particular area, right along the taxiway or perhaps the runway itself, if we can just zoom in into this particular area, these brown dots that you actually see on your screen in this entire area are actually hundreds of people who are milling in around this entire area and also uh, on the runway itself. They, this is full of people, all of this people on the ground on the runway. All right, let's uh, take a look now at another zoomed in image. And this is what I'm talking about over here. This is actually much clearer. You can actually see all of these people over here on the runway, desperate to get onto an aircraft. Many of them were trying to actually get on to aircraft. Some did and some perished. They fell down after the aircraft took, uh, took off. Security vehicles over here, but obviously these security vehicles, not enough. And people on the runway, as you can see, people on the runway, uh, as you can see in this uh, entire area. And finally, this is the situation outside the entrance to the airport. Absolutely crazy scenes. Traffic jams, massive as people tried to get uh, out of Kabul uh, earlier on today. And a final image that we can try and show you uh, of another area, possibly people had to walk a large distance uh, and vehicles stuck over there as they tried to get into Kabul International Airport. An absolutely desperate situation.